name is Dr. Elijah Kwasa, a radiologist at Stratus Medical, partnering with Ponea Health. Today we'll be talking about side effects of imaging procedures. What are they? What is relevant to you? And how can we avoid them? So for those modalities that have ionizing radiation, the dye that may be given into your veins has iodine. Iodine is a relatively safe molecule. However, if A, given in high doses, or B, given to someone who has compromised kidney function, it can lead to deterioration of the kidney function. This is called contrast-induced nephropathy. How can we know those at risk? Number one, those who have pre-existing kidney conditions. Number two, those who have diabetes. Number three, hypertension or dehydration. If someone is suspected to have these, then there needs to be a check on the kidney function before any iodinated contrast is given. Now, when we are looking at MRI, it has a different type of dye, but for those who have pre-existing kidney dysfunction, they should not receive that dye unless absolutely necessary, because there are some side effects that can occur from that that can be very difficult to manage. When we look at ultrasound, there is a novel contrast, which is basically very small gas bubbles that are put into the veins and help us visualize certain vascularized structures better. What does this mean? It means that instead of getting the dye, for example, in patients who have compromised kidney function, we can look at the liver, we can look at the kidney, indeed we can even look at the heart without having to give iodin iodinated contrast. So these are just some of the known and common side effects of um, imaging modalities. One, the concern behind radiation. Two, the concern behind the contrast that's given. How can you avoid this? Number one, those who are vulnerable should have as little radiation as possible. And number two, those who we suspect have kidney problems need to have their kidney function, a blood test called creatinine, done prior to the study. This helps us see who is at risk and by so doing be able to manage them. So we've talked a lot about this radiation and the risks especially to the young population. So how do we make sure that we mitigate these risks? Number one, we've already said if someone is pregnant they should notify the healthcare practitioner before they get any imaging modality. But more than that, there are mechanisms in place in Kenya and I'm sure in other parts of the world where we monitor the radiation that's given to the patient, the radiation the machine is emitting, and the radiation that healthcare workers like myself get, so that we make sure there's no excess in terms of radiation administered. The goal behind this is to make sure that we don't have the side effects of excess radiation dose to any one individual and indeed to the community at large. So if there's any concern, feel free to talk to your healthcare practitioner about your concerns about radiation, and they can then advise whether the imaging modality you are going to acquire is suitable for the condition that you have. Thank you for joining us for this discussion. You can book our services on ponea.com. You'll be able to visit us here at Stratus Medical. Feel free to join us again as we'll engage more in understanding how does imaging affect your life and your healthcare experience. Have a good day.